It's Chris here at ePianos and I have to my right the Yamaha P515 and to my left the P121 which of course is the shorter version of the P125. This is a comparison video, it's not a demonstration video. If you want to hear them being played we have videos doing that, you can find them in the description below. But this video is for you if you're trying to decide between these two models because I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that you get for your extra money with the P515. Take a look at the ePianos website for the latest deals and offers on digital pianos and keyboards and check out our huge selection of pre-owned keyboards, digital pianos and organs. Okay, so let's just start off with the basics first of all on these two models. Um, they are both 88 keys long apart, of course, the 73 version of the uh, P125 here, the P121. Um, they both have weighted keys, that's to say they feel just like a real piano, they're heavy to the touch. They all have built-in speakers, so no need to buy extra speakers, they both take headphones as well. So the basic concept, um, being portable digital pianos, is the same on these two models, but this video is about what it is you're getting extra for the P515 and that's what I'm going to tell you now. So in my experience of researching these two pianos and playing them extensively, it is clear to me, in summary, that the P515 is the superior model. There's no doubt when it comes to um, the touch, the sound, the whole playing experience, P515 is a lot better. Here is why in particular. First of all, the key mechanism used on here is different to the P121 and the P125, it uses Yamaha's NWX action. Now, what does that mean in English? Well, the W in here means it's wooden, first of all. So we have wooden white keys on the uh, P515 and plastic keys on the 121 and the 125. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, traditional pianos have wooden keys in them, and that is what's being replicated here on the P515. Uh, they're slightly lighter to the touch, they respond um, quicker when you're doing fast passages, and that is very important if you're an experienced player, or even if you're aspiring to be a high-level player, um, the more authentic you can get, the better. So P515 wins when it comes to the key mechanisms on there. Another big um, difference here, um, NWX was the name of that key mechanism, and the X stands for escapement on here, even though that's an E. And what this means is, on a real piano, what happens when the hammer hits the string is uh, the key remains depressed, but the hammer actually retracts, of course, to let the string vibrate. Now that little action that returns the hammer off of the string is called the escapement mechanism and you can actually feel it in the key when you sit and play a real concert grand piano. That is replicated on the P515 as well and if you're studying for your exams or you're trying or you're aiming to become a high level player it's little subtleties like that that you need. That's what the P515 has in its mechanism here. Um, we use the Yamaha GHS on the P121 and the P125. Now it's still is heavy and is still weighted, still feels kind of like a, a real piano, but it's nowhere near as authentic as P515. The other really big thing off the top is P515 uses this magnificent technology called virtual resonance modeling. Now, um, to put this into layman's terms, what it is, if you walk past a real concert grand piano, a nine foot long concert grand piano, and you snap your fingers or you wrap it on the top, it echoes around this whole nine foot long wooden cabinet. And of course all the strings do that as well. And each time you play a string, the strings next to it vibrate in sympathy. And that is all captured in the sampling technology that we have, uh, this VRM technology in, in the um, P515. So again, it's making it more authentic, it's making it more real. You can really feel as if the sound is echoing all around that big nine foot long chamber when you're playing 515. Now, the P121 and 125, they don't have that technology. So it doesn't feel as real to me when I do it. It's not so engaging. You can't get carried away with it like you can with P515. It's not terrible. I can't knock it completely, but I think we're talking a different league here when it comes to 515. So that technology, VRM technology, 
we've got that in P515. The next major point is the speaker configuration. We have four speakers in total on P515, um, two 15 watt ones and two 5 watt ones on either side. So that is quite a mighty sound just from its built-in speakers. Plenty to play at home with, certainly plenty to play in a small group with as well, although of course you can output it as well. Um, but it's not just the volume that is good, it's also the range that it will give you. Using that technology I've just referred to, the VRM, if you have more range with the volume you can be more subtle in your playing as well. You can play gently, light as a feather and go all the way through to giving it maximum beans and play really loud and you get much more range when you've got better speakers. So that is um, two 15 watt ones, two 5 watt ones on either side. Um, P121 and 125 we've only got two 7 watt speakers so volume wise fine for playing at home I would say. You're going to struggle in a group with just small speakers although you can output it as well but it's not just volume as I say, it's all about range and when we play them side by side we can certainly hear that P121-125 um, does do sound a little bit boxy I have to say. Um, you can't quite get that richness, that depth that you can with the bigger speakers you get on P515. So here's a big one if you are a uh, songwriter or a composer. Um, P515 has a 16 track recorder, that is 16 track recorder built into it. You can record in there, um, save it as a MIDI or a WAV file and then transfer it off using a USB stick. Um, it's got a USB socket in the front. So 16 track recording, P121, P125 only have a 2 track recording. You get 3 songs, you can record 2 tracks on each, 2 layers. So that's pretty clear isn't it? For that one P515 is far superior when it comes to recording for you composers and songwriters out there. And the P121 and 125 don't have the USB socket for you to transfer it off on a USB stick, although you can actually do it via the Smart Pianist app, which we'll talk about later, or you can do it through a USB to host cable. Now one other thing I've really got to mention, uh, one of my personal favourites is the sounds that these two make, the piano sounds themselves. Now we do get the um, Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, as the, that's the voice when you turn them on for the first time that always loads up, but we... P515 um, here, um, what we also have is the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand Piano. This is about £180,000 worth of concert grand piano. Um, it sits alongside the Yamaha as one of the finest in the world and it's also featured in the higher end uh, Yamaha Clavinovas. We have that in the P515 and it gives you a beautiful variation, much softer uh, much woodier sounding, it's lovely to use. We don't get it in P121 and 125. So just another note on the uh, the playing of these two pianos. Um, on the P515 we have synthetic ebony and ivory uh, key tops on here. Now this is much more like you find in the higher end pianos and of course ivory key tops is what we used to have on traditional pianos, don't anymore of course, and it was used because it was porous and it, the, the keys, you could grip them better. Um, that was the point, they didn't get slippery in the end. We have a, a synthetic representation of that on P515, so again it's much more authentic and it allows the fingers to grip onto the keys. Very useful if you're playing a lot and if you're playing fast passages. On P121, 125, it has a plastic key top. On the black ones it has a matte black finish and they're not terrible by any stretch, but if you are playing intensely, practicing, playing fast pieces, it's much more helpful and more authentic to have this synthetic representation of ebony and ivory that we get on the 515. This next point is a really big one if you have a uh, music collection on your um, device, your phone or your tablet. Um, P515, you have Bluetooth streaming, audio streaming, so I can play music through the speakers of it straight from my phone. It also can be done through the Yamaha Smart Pianist app, which is brilliant by the way, and we've got a separate video on that you can watch, the description is below. I can't do this audio streaming via Bluetooth on the P121 
or the 125. So that, if you like to play along with stuff from your phone, P515 has that feature in there. Do it wirelessly versus via, um, via Bluetooth. It's fantastic. Now there's a really nice selection of um, rhythms, backings, that we have on these two pianos. Um, rather than just use a metronome to keep yourself in time, there's, there are simple uh, rhythms as well. We have twice the amount on P515. We've got 40 rhythms here that will also accompany you with bass as well. So basically what you do is you just play and it picks up what you're playing and it gives you an accompaniment with a bass guitar playing and some drums in the style of music that you've chosen. So we get 40 of those on P515 and they are really excellent by the way, and there's some really good variations. It's much simpler on P121 and 125. There's only 20 of them on there. So again, 515 is the winner when it comes to the rhythms and backings. So when it comes to picking these pianos up and moving around with them, after all, they're called portable pianos, it'd be quite useful to know that the P515 is twice the weight of the P121 and 125. Um, they're approximately, or well, the 125 is, 22 kilograms but this one is twice the weight. Now you can still pick it up, you can still sling it under your arm, you probably have to be in reasonable shape to do it, um, but you know that's what you get. When you put in a better key mechanism, when you put in the extra speakers in there and the more powerful amplifiers, that's what you're going to get, a bit more weight, but that's about 22 kilograms on the P125. Uh, P515 is about twice the weight. So the amount of voices or sounds in these two pianos is also different. On the uh, P515 we've got 30 different voices, which by the way includes 10 separate pianos of um, various different types of so the two I mentioned at the start, the CFX Concert Grand by Yamaha and the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand, plus you have um, all of the XG, Yamaha XG voices for playing MIDI songs through it. You've got 480 of them in there. If you play a MIDI song through this, it will use all of those voices in there as well. Um, P121 and 125, we have 24, which is a reasonable selection. It gives you all the basics, pianos, strings, vibes, organs, etc. But P515 has a much bigger selection, particularly if you are playing in a, in a, in a band. It gives you 10 different types of pianos and a few extra um, really nice sort of vintage electric pianos as well. So as you can see, to summarise again, P515, um, yes, it's a lot more, but boy, you're getting some really good features in there. And the whole experience of playing it, the touch, the sound, the feel, um, is much closer to the real thing. And you can get so much more involved in it, so much more engaged if you're a sensitive player. You get more back from it, I would say. And P121 and 125, excellent for the price, absolutely excellent for a, um, a relatively cheap digital piano, portable one that has weighted keys, but if you're comparing the two, that's what we're doing here, P515 is the winner, it's much closer to the real thing. Um, if you're an experienced player, if you're aspiring to be a high level player, you're going to appreciate that and it'll last you longer, that's the key. It's going to be with you, you might not want to change it, whereas as you get better with P125 and the um, 121, I think you're going to hit its limit before too long. So there we are. I hope that's been useful to you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below or send us an email. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.